And greetings, friends. Today I want to talk to you about Genesis, the 35th chapter, verse 18, that says this. And it came to pass, as her, meaning Rachel, the wife of Jacob, as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. Of course, that's the son she gave birth to. And as she was dying, she named her boy before she died. Now, a lot of people take this to mean that this is proof in the Bible that there is an immortal soul. Because it says here, as her soul was in departing, for she died. Now, as I keep insisting, we have to stop looking at the scriptures and interpret it the way the Greeks uh, believed in how man is put together, what man is composed of. Of course, the Greeks believed that uh, we have a body and encased inside this body, there is an immortal soul trying to get out of the body. This is what the Greeks believed. And this is, this is how people keep interpreting the scriptures through Greek dualism, as they call it, of the body and the immortal soul. But the Bible says that we are flesh, blood, we have a spirit in man, which the Bible plainly says is the mind of man, our consciousness, and the breath of life. This is what scholars call biblical holism. And this is how we should look at these scriptures, the way the Bible says man is composed of, not the way the Greeks believed. So we need to keep that in mind when we look at these scriptures where it says, as her soul was in departing. So what does that mean? As I said, the Bible says man is composed of flesh, blood, the spirit in man, which is the mind of man, our consciousness, and the breath of life. So what does it mean here, as her soul was in departing? Well, I want to just quote you this from Samueli Bacciocci's book, Immortality and Resurrection, page 56. And it says, the phrase, her soul was departing, most likely means that her breathing was stopped, or we might say she was taking her last sigh. It is important to note that the noun soul or nephesh derives from the verb by the same root, which means to breathe or to draw breath. The inbreathing of the breath of life resulted in man becoming a living soul. All of us have the breath of life. The breath of life is like when you turn on a switch and the light goes on. The breath of life is like the switch, as it says here by Atkinson. It says on page 50, by the inhalation of oxygen out of the air, and medical science today knows, of course, a great deal about the connection between this intake of oxygen and the blood. The cessation of breathing results in the death of the person or the soul because the bible says that we are a soul it doesn't say that god put a soul in us it says that we are a soul it says adam became a living soul that word is nephesh and it should read being or creature the modern versions of the bible have that adam became a living being so the soul or being because the blood which is equated with the soul no longer receives the oxygen that is so vital for life. So when God breathed into Adam the breath of life, it started the whole process of life. That's what the breath of life is. It's the animating principle of life. All right, let's go back to page 56. It says, The inbreathing of the breath of life resulted in man becoming a living soul or being. A breathing organism, that's what it means, a living soul, a breathing creature. The departing of the breath of life results in a person becoming a dead soul or a dead creature, creature as it says in the text here, for she died, she became a dead soul, a dead creature. Thus, as Edmund Jacob explains, the departure of the nephesh is a metaphor for death. A dead man is one who has ceased to breathe. And then it says here, we conclude that the departure of the soul is a metaphor for death, most likely associated with the interruption of the breathing process. And that's what it means. Now, when you look at the newer translations of the Bible, I got one here by the NIV, but there's plenty of others. It says this, as she breathed her last, for she was dying, she named her son Benoni. And that's what it means that when it says here in the King James Version, 
as her soul was in departing, it really means as she breathed her last, she took her last breath and her last breath came out and she named her son Benoni. And that's what it means. So to say that this scripture proves that there's an immortal soul is just another Bible misconception.